So hello, I decided to make two videos in one day, something that has never happened to me. Anyway, I got this thing, uh, this was my grandma's and I don't know if you can see it how dirty this thing is, it's actually not uh, that dusty, it's just proper dirty. My grandpa bought this thing when he was I think in Japan and that's why I actually have this professional uh, connector, right? and uh, it's connected to this and let me show you this thing actually it still works however uh yeah not good okay there. and you can you cannot actually amplify this thing but okay FM stereo okay and uh I will be actually repairing this thing and this thing will be my radio for my uh, workshop. So uh, yeah, first thing I'll do is actually I'll disconnect the uh, antenna. Oh yeah, the thing you hear walking is my dog. So it is a bit wobbly and I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna fix it. But the funny thing is it's it's wobbly but it still stands. Oh, this is so dirty. I think that this thing has never been cleaned. Okay, let's see. Okay. Which, and there are like two screws inside and by the way this this is from I believe 60s and uh, okay all of the screws are of the same size yeah you know the, you know once upon a time having screws of the same size was a normal thing right yeah not anymore there is uh, a small rivet in here which I've just noticed I'm not quite sure I uh, see it for the antenna and I don't want to lose that okay what about what's this thing and the, uh, this one is for the antenna I mean it even says in here that it's for the antenna wow Seriously, it's that easy. I need to disconnect the speaker part and I will be cleaning the speakers as well. I think that's it. That's basically it. Wow, this is awesome. And basically the only thing I need is these, these parts. So you know what? But doesn't this look beautiful? I mean, it says 3D super woofer, how awesome. <laughs> okay. Now since all of the screws are of the same size and since this was way too easy to disassemble, I will be removing this thing because I don't need that at the moment. And I will be focusing on this thing. Now, first of all, I'll disconnect the uh, volume knobs. And basically there is nothing more to disconnect. This is brilliant. I'll need to desolder the tweeters. Let's try to desolder it and uh, see where will this thing get us. Yeah. Did I need to do this thing? <laughs> this is brilliant. And I think that cleaning this thing will not be that hard. And the switch, I actually have it. This is like a computer switch, so I can actually replace the entire switch. Okay, let's try to unsolder the tweeter. Okay, now I'm actually use soldering iron with my left hand. But there is a first time for everything, right? Okay. This actually got unsoldered pretty quickly and pretty uh, easily. Hm. Awesome. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, yeah, I still need to uh, unscrew the uh, this one, headphones part. But I think that everything else is unsoldered. 
Okay, wait. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And there you have it, all three speakers in all their glory. So let's try to clean the speakers first and let's see whether this thing will fall apart because... Okay. You know, old speakers usually tend to fall apart, but these ones, they seem okay. And by the way, this uh, I'll clean this thing either with alcohol or something so that it will look as if they were new. By the way, I'm not quite sure why, but this one is more, this one has changed color more than the other one. Maybe another series, I'm not quite sure. So, let's see if I can clean this thing with the uh, just the wipes, you know. Yeah. I don't want to press it too hard. Try to clean the entire speaker. I mean, this thing will dry, dry out. I'll leave this thing to dry. Let's disassemble this thing. And let's clean it. By the way, sorry about the dogs. My neighbor has like 14 puppies. And I kid you not, she has 14 puppies, crazy Italian lady. I mean, she's cool for Italian. <laughs> okay. Boy, this thing was dirty. Wow. Okay, yes, this thing is actually going to be perfect. I think so, yes. I mean, just with the uh, this thing, you can actually clean it pretty decently. Okay. I, I'm not. Uh, I'm actually not going to paint this thing with the uh, spray because I want. I want everything to be original as much as possible. You know. Wow. And again, this thing was standing on the fridge, and uh, not on the fringe, but well, on the fridge, but near the stove. And, you know, when you cook like for 40 years, things tend to get dirty. I actually have a really good uh, cleaning solution, and I will be using gloves for this because. As I said, this is the good stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna put it in here. And then, okay. And then we'll see where it will get us. So, but this thing will clean every little pore. Okay, I'll be cleaning this thing actually with a toothbrush, if I find one. Okay. I'm actually going to go and to rinse this and see if it's any better. I will be right back. Okay, this thing needs drying, but get a lot of this. This is awesome. Okay, look at the tweeters, how beautiful they look. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. Now this part. Uh. 
is actually quite clean. I'll be placing the parts I've finished with on one pile and then I will just put them all and rinse them all together because okay take a look how dirty this thing actually is <laughs> and once when I rinse it it's gonna be awesome Okay, let's see. I mean, this thing does look easy to disassemble, but looks can be deceiving. Okay, okay there you go. Again, of the same size. This is brilliant. Only the black ones are of a different size, but then and again, even them are of the same size, if you know what I mean. So, yeah. Is there a screw in here as well? Oh yes, there is. Just to just pull this thing up. I, I think I actually can. Can I pull this thing up? Yes. Okay, I mean, this thing is going up a bit. Okay, okay, okay. Is this thing actually... <laughs> this is fucking brilliant. Okay, this is the antenna. Now I need just somehow to, uh, well, not to move this thing, because if I move it, it's going to suck, but... So first let's clean the handle, and then not everything else. The heads on this thing are clean. Let me zoom in a bit. I mean, watch the head. The head is clean. It's, it's, it's perfectly clean. Wow. To remove the buttons, this is brilliant. You just pull them out. Okay, this is, this is going to be the best cleaning ever. <laughs> That's it. I just pulled them out. Somebody who made this was a god. Try to disassemble anything these days. So easy. I need to clean these parts with the uh, toothbrush. Because there is a lot of junk in here. Awesome. Seriously. So whoever made this thing was, he thought about everything, you know, easy to assemble, easy to disassemble. Now, I do hope that the belt is actually, uh, well, I would say visible, or accessible would be a better term. I'm going to show you how good this thing actually is. Okay, here in mind that it is a bit dirty from, well, everything. But, take a look at the antenna. So, and, the antenna is good as new. As I said, I will uh, rinse it, but <laughs> and now for the last part, by the way. I think that I won't be rinsing this part because, um, well, yeah, this thing needs to uh, stay as is, but so, and just with a couple of swoops, 
This thing is brand new. Let me clean this thing with a cloth. This is already awesome. If I leave it, if I leave it like this, <laughs> this thing is already perfect. But no, we are not going to leave it like that. Okay, and this one, yes, seriously. Yes, I mean, everything makes sense, right? By the way, ju just a sheer thought that this thing, after being cleaned after so many years, is gonna look as good as new. I don't have anything else to add. Just the counter from inside. Okay. Uh, ugh, disgusting. I didn't even pull out this one seriously. Ugh. Okay, I'll put this thing in here. Um, these switches are most certainly gone. I'm not sure should I desolder the, all of them. You know what? I won't be desoldering. But I actually have a contact spray and I will be spraying contact spray inside. But yeah, this thing does need to be cleaned, I think. Okay, let's try to clean these two contacts. Okay. And now, just a bit of this. I mean, as I said, this is a rather old deck. I mean, yeah. This, uh, yeah, this rubber is gone. I need to see if I can find the uh, one that's like this rubbers. But they have the right size, you know. Okay, this one might be it actually. Yes. 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 Easy and the way it should be. I'm gonna try to because so far to remove everything was easy so I'm guessing it will be this thing will be held by these four screws right okay and seriously <laughs> four screws this is brilliant this thing is okay well since I am in here might as well Cleaned it a bit, right? But this is awesome. This is this is uh, whoever designed this deck, this uh, this boombox is is a god. Then I like. Uh, Let me zoom in a bit. Okay, you know what? Uh, this thing I'll actually disassemble because this thing, in my opinion, cannot be cleaned just with the uh, contact spray. I mean, let's be real. Even that thing I cleaned there might not be somewhat of a permanent fix but in my defense um, it's not like I'm gonna change to radio and whatnot all of the time but I think that it might actually work because this thing was built like a brick well at least what I see so far ok 
Okay, let's see whether this thing can come in. Okay, so uh, this thing is clean. I don't think it will ever be as good as new, but close enough. First of all, the speakers. And uh, since this thing actually goes in here, I will need to mount the, uh, the uh, subwoofer to it before we even start, because then I can uh, install it normally. Like this. So now I need to solder the uh, tweeters. Okay, I can solder it, right? Soldered, and it's looking actually decent. I do wonder whether all of these are gonna work. I hope they will. I would say this is awesome. Now let's put back those play pause buttons. Made a noise and I will be cleaning this thing as well. Because why not? And I think that I can actually put this thing in here. And I think I can just click those in. Will be in my repair shop, so okay, okay. and you know what? I'll be actually leaving this cord. I was thinking about changing it, but no, it's like a piece of history, I guess. Okay. I think I disassembled this in a wrong order, but you know that's the greatness of this thing. It can be disassembled, you know, in any order, which is kind of awesome. You know what? Let's put the screws back in. And it's actually way more beautiful than it was. Unfortunately, I think uh, 
all of this restoration is for nothing because these capacitors in here are gone. This noise that you hear boom, buzzing and hissing and whatnot can probably be due to old capacitors. And uh, unfortunately, I don't have a little power to replace them. However, I'm happy that it is working, so you know. Okay, radio. It still has this crackly sound. Unfortunately, yeah. I mean, in theory, I could buy the uh, replacement faders, and I'll, I'll, I'll eventually, uh, you know, I'll eventually try to buy new ones. I really want to restore this one, but you know, it's really not that bad, right? Let me zoom out a bit if I can. I mean, how cool is this thing? It was dirty, and now it's not. And the cool thing is that I can actually now uh, listen to the radio in here, so I will be probably placing it somewhere in here. But yeah, I mean, right? It's clean. And as I said, I do not do the restoration videos, so uh, yeah, I don't have that fancy angles and whatnot. But if you like this video, click thumbs up. If you did not, well, you know what to do. And until the next time. Cheers.